Hi, it's Belinda Kelly from Simple Goodness Sisters, and I'm gonna walk you through the May Cocktail Farm Club release box. And we're gonna start with the first recipe, the better than a G and T. Pretty obvious name, but the idea behind it is that it's better than a gin and tonic because while it takes some of the same like citrus, refreshing, a little bit of sweetness that your traditional gin and tonic has, it adds this really deep herbal layer from the lemon herb syrup and from a more herbal botanical gin. So we're gonna start out by adding a very full cup of ice. So I have a stemless wine glass here. It's a 14 ounce stemless wine glass. Anything about 12 to 14 ounces will do. But you do want a lot of ice. And I see this as a mistake a lot of people make when making their cocktails. They're kind of skimpy on their ice. Um, so do be generous. And then we're gonna just add in our lemon juice. So I've already got some squeezed lemon juice here. You can, uh, you know, just grab it fresh from a lemon with one of these citrus reamers. Um, but you're just gonna measure out a half ounce of the lemon juice. On my jigger here, it's the short side, half of it. I'm gonna add that right into the glass. Now we always add our ingredients, least expensive to most expensive. It's a bartending trick, so we're gonna add our syrup next. And it's just gonna be a quarter ounce, and that doesn't feel like a lot, but um, traditionally tonic waters do have some sugar in them. That's why most tonic waters have about 90 to 100 calories. So you're actually gonna have a less caloric tonic by this combination and it's gonna have a lot more flavor and not as much of the bitterness that you get from quinine in a traditional tonic water. So next we're gonna add the gin. We chose this one really specifically and we love to talk about it. It's amethyst gin, which is made um, in Ellensburg, Washington. And it's actually a female grower, female distiller of this lavender based gin, but any kind of new American botanical gin will do. So anything that's really herb heavy, that has a lot of aromatics, not just juniper. So you're avoiding London dry, um, but anything else will do. Maybe it has a lot of orange peel or cardamom or clove or even um, herbs like our rosemary and thyme. Those are all be great. So we're gonna do a full ounce and a half, which is the large size of your jigger. And then you're gonna give it a little stir. And the final step to this easy backyard sipping kind of cocktail is a little bit of club soda. So I'm using Mineragua club soda, which is available at Costco Business. You can use Topo Chico or um, Fever Tree, any other type of club soda. It does make a little bit of a difference whether it's just sparkling water versus club soda. Club soda has a tiny bit of salt in it and it has a tighter bubble. It's you know, a little bit specific and bartendery, but it does actually taste a little bitter, little better. <laughs> then you're gonna add your garnish, which any fresh herb will do. I have a big piece of fresh mint here and that's it. Super easy to make, very easy to drink, really refreshing and a nice citrusy light cocktail, low in calorie, which is nice if you're drinking a few of them on a summer afternoon and it tastes really, really good and much, much better than a gin and tonic. Cheers.